Uh, I mean, it's huge. It's a huge accomplishment. Uh, every uh, this year, it's a huge accomplishment as a team. Uh, and I mean, this is our eighth straight year going to it. And every year, we don't take it for granted. Uh, it's just like this year. Uh, we worked uh, our tails off since the summer, uh, since training camp. So uh, it's a huge game, but you also got to treat it uh, like any other game. It's another football game. You got to go out there and do what you got to do and play well. Did they, give you different, did they give you different type of cover, coverages the last time you played them? Because Bucks have always seen them in a lot. Yeah, uh, I've seen a, many different coverages with them. And uh, from man to a guy trying to jam me. Uh, I'm trying to jam the guy. They're trying to jam me. Sometimes it mixes up like that. Uh, you see some double coverage, uh, a lot of post safety, uh, but a lot of guys switching up too, uh, different players, safety, corner. Uh, it's, it's And then also you see it a couple times too. You can see the same coverage once or twice, three times, but also you can see a different coverage uh, many times too. So it switches up and you gotta be ready at all times. The last sure. time this team won a road playoff game was in 2006. I think you were probably still in high school. So not having one on the road in the playoffs that long, is there just a different mentality this week? Uh, I mean, going on the road, being at home, I mean, you got to play your, your best football, uh, no matter what, to win the game, if you're at home or if you're away. And we just got to treat it like any other game. Um, going into the stadium, we know it's going to be loud. We know the atmosphere is going to be hyped. Uh, it always is every time we go there, even during the regular season. Just can't imagine what it's going to be like in the playoffs. So you got to treat it like any other game, but also you know what type of atmosphere we're going into. We got to be ready. We got to be focused, and we got to be mentally prepared to go into it. Travis Kelsey has been very complimentary of you. He says he can't wait to face an elite quarterback, you know, an elite tight end like yourself. I'm sorry. Um, what have you seen out of him? I know that you guys won't be on the field at the same time, but what have you seen out of Travis? Yeah, uh, he's a very excellent uh, player. Uh, the way he can move, the savviness he has <clears throat> is is second to none. I mean, the way he can go up on a defender and, you know, plant one way and go the other uh, at his size, his speed, that's what makes tight ends, you know, special in this league. Uh, a top tight end special is when they can plant, go the other way at our size uh, with his speed and stuff like that. So he's a great player. Uh, you got to give it to him, and uh, it's going to be – it's going to be fun to watch. Do you feel like he's coming for your throne as the best tight end in the league? Uh, I mean, I, I know he competes, uh, competes hard, uh, competes every play, competes every game. Uh, and that's all you can ask for. And uh, that's what I do, too. So I just got to go out there and, and play best ball. Rob, you told us that you were all in. You were killing guys on Sunday in the blocking game, moving guys all over the place. Did you find it? Another year, another level for this time of year? Uh, I mean, it's the playoffs. It's one and done. I mean, you know, during the regular season and all, you know, you got you know, you know, got another game in that. But this is one and done. Uh, every single play counts. Uh, any, any play at any given time can boost your team into the next round. And, you know, you can see, you see that happen throughout the playoffs too. I mean, you see it happen many different times throughout the playoffs, throughout the years that it doesn't happen during the regular season, like one little play there, one block there. So you got to be on top of your toes and, and bring it at all times. Rob, there's been a lot of focus uh, going into this weekend on young quarterbacks like Mahomes and Jared Goff. Uh, for you and the team, what does it mean to have someone like Brady who's been doing this uh, for so long and being so consistent at, at quarterback? Yeah, it's just un unreal just having him at the quarterback position, not having no change, don't got to worry about that. and. Just uh, consistency he's been bringing year in and year out. Uh, it's been the same. And just how prepared he's been, how prepared and, and ready to go he is. There's just no reason to ever worry at that position for us. Have you ever just marveled at how fast he can get rid of the ball at times over the years? Uh, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's impressive. I mean, he works on every skill set. And when – when he feels like he doesn't have a skill set, for example, say he's not getting the ball out quick enough, you'll see him in practice. He'll be working on that. He'll be getting better. He'll be learning how to get the ball out quicker. And that's what just makes him so great. So he can hold the ball for however long he needs to, and he also can get it out as quick as possible uh, to, get, to get it into a flat route, a quick hook route, whatever it is, to get the ball out and let the guy run and make a guy miss and make some yards. Rob, what's it like playing in these games, considering that you and the Chiefs usually or often had your way with 
teams during the year. That's why you guys are here. But now in this game, it tends to be a heavyweight fight back and forth. You know, what's it like playing in those type of games with this all at stake? I mean, it's always a, a heavyweight fight going versus the Chiefs, no matter when it is, regular season playoffs. And it's just going to be that big and that tough of a matchup again. Uh, as the stakes are high, it's to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, both teams, we're going to be going at it. So it should be a good battle. Do you feel the tension when you get on the field for the AFC Championship? Like you, you go through the week of practice and get yourself ready, but once you get on the field, it's different? Uh, I would say so. I mean, because of the atmosphere of the football game, the atmosphere of the crowd, I mean, uh, same way last week at our stadium, you just knew it was buzzing right from the beginning, and it's going to be the same uh, out at Arrowhead Stadium. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, popping 30 minutes, 60 minutes pro probably prior to kickoff, and then right at kickoff, you know it's going to be a playoff atmosphere there. I mean, been there in the regular season, it felt like playoff atmosphere, so I just can't imagine what it's going to be like going to a stadium like this. You're heavily involved with the run game. What do you think of the job you guys have done Offensive line, Sony Michelle, James White, these guys? Uh, I feel like overall, I mean, done a good job, and there's always room for improvement. Always room to get better in the areas that we've been doing well, too. But uh, it's been great just working with the offensive line and seeing Sony. Just the development he has had uh, throughout the year since training camp. You see it every other week, and just how, how he's been approaching practice, coming out, uh, trying to get better every single week, and it shows. So. He's been doing a great job. The offensive line been doing a great job, and it's just cool to be a part of it. Rob, right with now, that said, it's so healthy. You look at the injury report. There's barely any players listed on it, if any. Has that helped you guys allow to focus on just preparing for the game and not have to worry about anybody nursing an injury or anybody being limited in any scans? Has that really let you hone in on just facing, focusing on the moment? Of course it does. I mean, when you're dealing with that type of stuff and with a lot of guys, you, you know, you're seeing what you can do and stuff like that. When that's out of the picture, uh, I mean, it just makes practice that much that much easier, that much better. Uh, just go out there, do what we got to do, focus on the job that you got to do, and do it at full speed, do it at however you need to do during practice so you can go out and replicate it on game day on Sunday. Rob, well, there with that said, um, uh, you know, with the run game, Obviously, it's important to start fast every week, but is it an e extra emphasis this week? Because if you start fast, you can keep running the ball, whereas if you get behind, it becomes tougher to run the ball, and that seems like an advantage that you develop late. Uh, starting fast is a huge advantage in the league, uh, big time, especially going on the road, I would say, and in a playoff atmosphere. It's always good to start fast. I mean, if it doesn't happen, it's going to be, you got to catch up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make the hole that much tougher to get out of if, uh, if you don't get a fast start. So uh, it's going to it's definitely crucial. You always want to get out, and uh, especially going on the road, uh, a stadium like this, a team like this, uh, it's going to be crucial to, to go out there and make some yards, get some points right away. Take a couple more questions. How has your mindset changed maybe from when you were a younger player to now that it, you know, it's not, it's not given that you're going to ever head back to another Super Bowl. So how has your mindset changed maybe from a younger guy to a veteran towards the end of the as in, like, what way? Like, approaching not these things for granted, but just you know, like, like that type of thing. Yeah, no. As when you're a young buck, uh, really young, you feel like you're gonna be here for a little. I mean, I mean, I, I would say now, seeing everything, seeing how fast it goes, you know how much work it takes to put in to get to this to this level. And as you get older, you gotta put more work in too to get to this to get this far to get to this. Uh, stage uh, to get to the championship game. So uh, you actually, you feel like when you get to these games, like, oh, you feel like you, you feel all that work you put in. You feel accomplished when it happens. You feel accomplished when you won because you know you put all that work in. And that's what we've been doing all year. And you know you can't take it for granted. I mean, I've been through it now, lost some games now. And then you understand, like, wow, I really wish I won that game. And you just can't put, take anything for granted at all. I mean, just, uh, you know, this is our eighth AFC championship game in a row. It's just unbelievable that we're in our eighth, you know what I'm trying to say? And that it's like, wow, we got another one now. We got to prepare, and you got to take it in. Uh, but also at the same time, you got to be ready for the game Sunday, mentally and physically.